Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and welcome back to the Android tutorial series uh, we are currently working on which is the city guide application I just want to apologize to all of my subscribers that I was uh, being too late for this series but I was very 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 busy so I have decided to uh, continue with the retailer section or you can say the admin panel of this application in which owner of some place will create their accounts and add their places and after or once they added their places we will uh, go back to the user module and fetch the data from the firebase and show the data inside our uh, user module or the front end so uh, let's get started with the retailer section so today we are going to create a very quick video of the front end or the first screen of the retailer module so let me quickly show you what we are going to create so this is our city guide application so when the user click on this plus icon at the top he will redirect it to the login or sign up screens and if the user is already logged in then this screen will not appear and uh, he will redirect it to the retailer module or the retailer dashboard screen so we have two options here login and sign up so uh, we are going to create uh, this first screen in this video and the next coming videos will be uploaded uh, right after it so let's get started so open android studio project and this is the screen we have designed previously but uh, now as i told you we are moving toward our retailer section so for that uh, go to the java and open the first folder and inside we have created this structure if you are new to this series please uh, i suggest you to watch a quick video for this one so you can better understand the structure of this application Okay, inside this common folder, I am going to add all the functions of login and sign up because we don't have only one or two screens for the login sign up. Uh, but we have uh, remember me, how we work, and then forget password and uh, phone verification. Then we will get phone number in another activity. So we have bunch of activities. So uh, the reason I am adding it inside this common folder is because retailer user and admin uh, all the three can access this login and sign up thing so that's why i'm going to add it inside the common and inside to create a new folder right click new and create a new package just name it i already created a login sign up so inside i want to create a new activity and go to the activity empty activity and name it retailer startup screen you can change its name as well so click on finish to create it uh, press alt enter and import this class so this is just a runtime error uh, it's okay don't worry about it just close it and move to the xml file of retailer startup and head toward the split section the first thing is we want to remove this constraint layout and add a scroll view because we want to make sure that every device can use our application and it should be responsive press alt control l to align the code and it should it will remove one extra line okay now in here the first thing i want to add is a background and it is going to be white for our application and then i am going to add some padding of 30 dp uh, i am going to use uh, 30 dp space from the sides and uh, for all the retailer screens, for all the admin screens, the video is coming next because I want to make sure the design is uh, pretty clean and minimal. So that's why I'm going to uh, use some more space. Okay, inside this scroll view, we want to use a linear layout because scroll view can only have one child. So inside this linear layout, we can add everything uh, we want. So linear layout will be match parent and scroll view can only have a wrap content in height because we, we cannot define the height of scroll view so the height will be wrap content okay inside this linear layout the first thing we want to add is image view and its width is going to be match parent and height is going to be 30 dp and add a source i have already added the image which is uh, this one the black one Okay, close it as it is a linear layout so we have to mention its orientation by default it's horizontal but we want to make it vertical 
the top one then uh, below in vertical orders so after the image we want to add a text view and the text view is going to be wrap content width and height then the text is going to be retailer heading uh, I, in the strings as I mentioned earlier I used to add strings inside my strings file and I told you why to use these strings and we can easily translate them then I will at the end uh, I will create how to uh, you can translate it's just uh, around two to three steps to translate but for that you should have strings for everything uh, inside your application so use strings it is suggested so retailer heading over here now we want to add the text size is going to be 36 sp and also its color color will be black i already added these colors as well inside the colors file now we want to make it center so the gravity layout gravity should be center now you can see it is center but the text orientation is not centered so for the text alignment we will make it center as well so now you can see it look like that the text is also in the center so to add a font family go to the design section and in here search for font family but we need to first select the text uh, okay inside this font family you can go to the more fonts and you can get all the google fonts over here but the one i am going to use throughout uh, my retailer and admin uh, project and maybe inside the user module as well is this one because it is easily available i got a lot of requests that uh, where you get the fonts external fonts and so on so that's why i decided to go with the fonts inside the uh, android so click on this uh, one the name is Muli or uh, you can pronounce it better than me so you can uh, see it has a lot of variations the italic bold simple bold extra bold semi regular and so on so you just have to select it and click ok to add i have already added so i am just going to use the black one which is the heavy uh, bold heavy so go back to the split screen and in here to make everything all caps you can all capital i mean text all caps true and it is uh, going to be like this so we need another text view simply copy it and paste it change the text text is retailer tagline text yes then i am going to change its font family to the light one then the text one text size is by default is 14 sp so just remove the text size to achieve that then uh, we don't want to make it all caps the next thing is uh, i think it's pretty good okay yes uh, we need to add some space from the top so click on this uh, first text view and inside you can say layout underscore margin top and it is going to be 120 dp from the top use sp for the text and uh, rest of the things use dp press alt control l to align the code okay now we have our image we have our text and tagline uh, now we want to add two buttons over here so uh, they should be responsive so for that i am going to create one more linear layout but this time it is not going to be vertical orientation it it should have a horizontal orientation uh, i will uh, just be back to here match parent wrap content and by default the orientation is horizontal so we don't have to mention it so inside this linear layout we want to create a button uh, button will have width of 0 dp and the height is going to be wrap content then we have a text over here and the text is login okay what it is saying layout weight is not mentioned okay we are going to mention it uh, layout weight is one so now you can see the button so what this uh, weight is going to do inside this linear layout is 
A linear layout basically allows the system to place things equally as we want to make sure that both the buttons, the login and sign up, uh, should divide the space equally. So that's why what I have done is uh, I make its width 0 dp and ask the system to assign its weight to 1. So just copy this button and paste it one more time. Now you can see I did nothing but uh, by this uh, by adding just this weight uh, there are two buttons and they equally divide the space of the screen so let's see uh, make one to two over here for the first button so now you can see it is acquiring the second or uh, two third of the space of the whole screen and the one is having uh, less space from this one so that's why I am using layout weight okay one more thing for the button is to add some margin 5 dp okay not from this side but from this side sorry add a margin for the first button it's to the right margin right maybe 10 dp and for this one it's margin left 10 dp okay pretty good we have two buttons now change this second one to sign up text and we also want to add a background and the color is the yellow one color primary simply copy and paste it behind both okay fine now inside this linear layout let me add some margin top and it is going to be 40 dp to add some space now you can see we have created two buttons two text views one image and now we need one more button over here at the bottom which is going to say or we can change its text color to black as well to add some uh, bold effect because by default it's a little grayish one so simply copy this button and when this linear layout is closed at the end of this linear layout we need to create one more button it is over here but uh, it cannot have a width 0 dp because the height is vertical for this linear layout or the orientation so we will make it match parent and remove this margin as well but we need to add margin top instead with the 20 dp to add some space so change its text from sign up to how we work there we go its color is added press alt control l to align the code and also we want to make it transparent so to make the things transparent you just have to add extra two zeros with the six digit which is a color code so two zeros for the transparent and then one two three four five six digits for some color so uh, it is now transparent user can click on anywhere to get access to how we work thing so this activity is uh, pretty much ready to go uh, okay now we want to get access to this activity from our user dashboard which is this one and let me open its layout file so there are a lot and a lot of people are asking me that uh, you didn't explore the on create method and uh, how you are going to uh, make the function clickable as the go button is not working and all that so i admit that there is uh, that's that's my mistake that i thought that you guys know about the on click function but a majority of the people don't know so uh, i'm sorry about that so i am going to demonstrate how it works so i am going to click on this image view this one the plus one because when user click on this image i want to direct it to the retailer page so inside this image view we have one function which is called onclick so you can see android colon onclick 
so just click it and it will suggest you some of the methods if you have created but I haven't created any method so uh, I will create a method it will be call retailer screen so just copy it and head back to the user dashboard inside we don't need to uh, go for this on create so instead close it we don't want to I don't have to create the hooks we don't need to go to any other function but outside the on create method you just have to make sure it should be public not private because we have to access it outside this java file public void name of the function which is called retailer screens I already mentioned in my xml code and you need to make sure that it is a view android dot view space a variable and there we go so you can see it's uh, changed from gray to black that means it is being called from somewhere so it will uh, this function will be called only when the user presses uh, user perform the on click method on this image view uh, right so go back to the user dashboard and would want to uh, call the retailer screen so just write start activity new intent get application context and from where from this context to where we want to go is retailer screen dot class so that's it this will simply a call from this screen to the next screen run our application okay this is the splash screen and then we have uh, our dashboard over here okay when we click on this plus button over here so we should be directed to our retailer screen so click over here and you can see we have two buttons login sign up and but we also have a top bar so to remove this top bar as I already mentioned uh, go to the user dashboard and in here you just have to copy this line which is get window dot set flags window manager dot layout params and so on copy it and paste it inside this retailer just above the set content view and that's it it will be gone close this and uh, almost uh, that's it for this video previously i was thinking to create a login screen with this but it will be a pretty long video for you guys so that's it for this video and the next video is coming right away i am currently working on it as well so thank you for watching take care allah hafiz if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe it as well thank you again take care allah